Hey guys, Cameron with Z1 Off-Road here. Today we're going to show you how to install the Z1 Off-Road Snorkel on the D41 Frontier. Snorkel is a really great addition if you're going to be doing river crossings or going through big puddles or if you're going to be doing any sort of driving on dusty roads. It keeps your intake nice and dry, out of the dust, out of the water. Uh, keeps everything happy in the engine bay. Okay, so this is just the tools you're going to need. This is what we used. Uh, first thing on the list is you're going to need a ratchet with a 13, a 10, an 8, and a 7. Um, you just want to make sure that 13 is going to be nice and short so that you can get between the fender. And, uh, we have a gear wrench here. These are super useful. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you get one, but uh, you can use a regular box end wrench too. Um, that's also going to be useful for getting between the fender and the firewall. Uh, torque wrench to get things set to the right torque. Um, we have our tape that we're going to use to mask off the body and get it all uh, protected while we're cutting. We're going to be using an air saw. If you don't have an air saw, you can also use a sawzall or a cutoff wheel on a Dremel or something like that, but we recommend an air saw or some other type of reciprocating blade. Um, you're going to want a 3 8 bit to do your drain. Uh, you can use a 5 8 bit for the holes. Uh, if you don't have a 5 8 bit or if you already have a step bit, we recommend using a step bit. You can use that to get your holes started on the mounting bolts. We've got a file to touch things up after we've cut. We have some touch-up paint. This is specific for our Frontier. Um, you can get some that's specific for yours at z1offroad.com. Just a generic marker here to trace the template that we have. We have a four millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, we have a Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Those are both gonna be necessary. If you have it, super useful, a trim clip removal tool. Uh, a drill, of course. We've got some gray RTV here as well. If you want to use some Loctite on the threads of the bolts that hold the snorkel to the body, you can use that too, or you can use RTV. Um, and that's really it. It's a really simple install. It's time to install the snorkel. Let's do this. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the, the air box. Uh, we're using the Z1 air box. That is what is compatible with the snorkel right now. Just remove this band clamp. This spring clamp, your MAF sensor. Got that connection out of there. Now we should be able to remove this grommet and the rest of the tube. Easy, we'll set that aside. Now we can just simply pull up and remove this whole box. Just like that, set that aside. Remove this fender grommet and the ball loot that comes with it. You're not going to need these anymore. All right, let's get this fender liner out of here. Don't worry, it's going to go back on in a minute. There's two screws up here. Keep track of these, they're easy to lose. If you have a short screwdriver, it's really nice for these. And there should be a couple of clips in the top here. One, two, three, four of them. And a screw on the bottom. There she goes. See why I got gloves? Never know what's behind the fender liner. Okay, even right there, you're good. Okay, fender liner out. We're gonna put it back, don't worry. So while we were on our break, we uh, RTV'd some of these rubber washers that are included to the snorkel. Um, this is because we're gonna install them on the outside of the body and you can't get to it otherwise. So. These are going to be installed there. We'll let that cure. I uh, give it about 15 minutes and you should be good. Okay, next step. Tape. So we're going to go ahead and tape off where we're going to be putting the snorkel. Most of the upper section of this is going to be untouched, but we'll want to cover a lot of it just in case. Um, the only thing to watch is make sure that we can still see this line right here. Um, we'll want to get to that. So I'll actually peel this back. Okay, as long as you can still see that body line, you're golden. 
This is our thermal molded template that is included with the kit. It's perfectly contoured to the body and it's perfectly lined up with all the holes for the snorkel. So you'll go ahead and line this up on the body. It should, you should feel it kind of snug into place. Looks like I got a little overlap here. I'll add one more strip of tape. Okay. Yeah, so you'll go ahead and line this up. Arrow pointing forward. Um, it's kind of hard to mess it up, but you just want to look for an even gap back here. So between this edge of the body panel and this edge. And once that's good, let's go ahead and tape it down. And we'll get one more on there. Okay, go ahead and double, triple check. Make sure that's good, this is the most important part. Give it a few extra just to be safe. Okay, we're ready to trace and cut. Okay, you're gonna take your permanent marker and just trace the inside of this. Okay, and that's it. So we'll pull that off now. I like my hearing. I want to keep it. All right, now it's time to get the drill. All right, and we're just going to mark the center of the hole. We're just going to press it, make sure we got it. Okay, and it's time to start. We're gonna make sure that we at least cut past this hole. Uh, as long as you get all of it, you're good. Go a little more. That should be good. Should be good. Now we're just going to drill one more just to get a starting point on this big one. Okay, we're just going to go nice and slow. Take your time with the air saw. Um, you can use a Dremel or other bit if you have that, but this is what we have and this is going to be the fastest. Um, but just remember, you only got to cut it once, so just go nice and slow. Uh, don't rush it. Same as with these, just make sure you at least cut to the edge of this line. You should be good. Now, it might be a little advantageous to just get a finger behind it, but you can prevent it from digging around and shattering. That's it. Now, we just did cut holes through the paint, so you're going to want to touch that up. Uh, we're going to use some RTV to just seal it up. You can use some touch-up paint, spray paint, whatever you want. You just want to make sure that this isn't going to corrode over time. So we're just going to do a dab of this and yeah. you can double check, make sure you did it right. No going back. Next step, snorkel time. And it's starting to come together. Okay, let's get these bolts in through the fender. I'm going to take a tiny bit of RTV, put it on here too just to act as a sort of thread sealer that isn't as aggressive as Loctite. You can use Loctite if you want, but this is what I'm gonna use today. So we'll go up and we'll start with that top bolt. You can poke your head through and get a glance at it. Okay, grab your wrench. Okay, so now I've installed all the bolts. Uh, you kind of have to feel with your fingers to find uh, all the threads. And then once you get them started by hand, you should be able to get a small wrench, like a gear wrench on there. Um, sometimes a small ratchet wrench will work too, um, but you're just gonna get them nice and snug. You don't wanna over tighten them. The RTV will take care of holding it in place. Um, once it's tight, we're good inside the fender right here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the A-pillar bracket. The really cool part about this is it's a no drill bracket. You just pull this part of your um, doorway liner out. Push this into place on, your on this pinch weld. 
and it fits nice and snug around the contour of the A-pillar, then you'll just take these screws, get them started, and snug them up. Again, don't need to get too tight on these. Okay, once those are locked down, you can just push this gasket right back over it. Seals out all the water and keeps that in place. The door, when you close it, is gonna be the biggest thing keeping it in place. So, it should be rock solid. Let's give it a test. That is rock solid. Okay, so now we're just installing the black band clamp on the snorkel head. We're gonna get it snug, and then once it's snug, we'll put it up and torque it down. Now we're gonna install the snorkel head. Should just seat in place against this shoulder right here. There's a tab on the front that'll show you what direction is perfectly forwards. Once that's aligned, we can go ahead and target it down. Bring this band clamp all the way down. And send it. Okay, we're gonna get this roughly aligned. Um, it should be sitting just about like that uh, inside the fender. Um, so we're gonna get it kind of aligned. We'll make sure it's still loose so we can adjust it, but we wanna get it close. And then we have our largest one, which we're gonna use to go around this guy right here. Should just barely fit. Next, we're gonna put this guy in the truck and this is gonna replace that other fender grommet that we have. But this one is made to made up to this fender pipe, just like that. And it should be able to install in the fender just like that. Now we're gonna install this in the fender. Um, you'll wanna slide the bottom on first, just split it apart like that. And it should be able to work its way on. All right, now we're gonna install the airbox. We'll remove the window to get it installed properly. But we're gonna put this bottom nut in first. And we're going to slide this band clamp around everything. And we're just going to reach inside the fender inlet right there and make sure it's all seated. And we can get this in place. Okay. Give it a give it a tug once you have it installed to make sure it's nice and snug. Should be good. Now you can go and reinstall the rest of the intake. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so there's a foam piece of insulation right here. It has a plastic backing to it. We're just gonna pull it out. You're just gonna. You're just gonna pull it out, just like that. It looks like this, it'll sit in there like that. It'll be attached to the, um, to the side of the fender on the inside, the engine bay side. You just pull it out, it'll come out, easy. Order to do this that makes it a little bit easier, um, we're gonna put this end on first, we're gonna attach it to the fender grommet, and then before we tighten the clamp down, we're gonna get this guy installed, make sure this can play a little bit, and then once it's all installed, tighten all the clamps down. Pretty simple. It should be able to snake it up there. Okay, now once you're up there, in the fender, um, make sure you don't lose your connection on the left side. It should be able to seat pretty well in there. Um, but you're gonna work it up until the top of the, of the silicone is getting installed first. Okay, and then once that's over it, you should be able to push it up to the right and it should seat on on the snorkel itself. Make sure that this span clamp is accessible when uh, and below everything so that you can tighten it down when you're done. But you kind of work it, get one hand over the left side, one hand over the snorkel side, and it should be able to just wiggle right into place. Once you have it installed, you want to make sure everything feels like it's sitting in the right position. Uh, so just go ahead and feel it and make sure everything's sitting nice and loose. Um, but in the correct position. So I feel that you have enough of a lip over the snorkel and then up over the fender pipe. 
And then once you do, you're all set. Go ahead and move those band clamps into the right positions and torque them down and we're done. That's it. That is 100% sealed to the airbox. All right, last thing we're gonna do before we finish this up, um, we're gonna double check all our fasteners before we put that fender liner back on and make sure everything is locked down and looking good. Nice. Okay, looks good. Now let's put the fender liner back in, make sure that's all set, and then we can go ahead and start it after that. So we gotta install the fender liner, uh, make sure this is all secured, and after that we can start it and go for a drive. Don't forget these two screws behind the fender flare. Okay, then we'll just put the rest of the clips back in and we're ready to go. Two things that are left. Um, last thing we're gonna do uh, before we start it is we're gonna check all the fittings on the air box and on the intake, just make sure they're all looking good. And then we have an optional drain plug that we can install, it's right here. Um, just looks like this. So you can, if you'd want a weep hole or if you're going through large water crossings, uh, you'll want a way for that water to drain out if it does happen to get in there somehow. Um, so we have this plug that you just drill a 3 8 hole in the bottom of the snorkel and then you install this plug and it just sits in really easily. Um, and you can reach it from inside the cab, you can pull it out, it's really easy to use. Um, or you can omit this step if you just prefer to keep it just as is. Okay, now we're just gonna take our 3 8 drill bit and drill straight up into the bottom of the box and uh, get, get us that drain hole for this plug. Just like that. And then the plug will just seat in place, just like that. Filter's good. Okay, we're ready to start it. All right guys, so that install went really well. I think it looks really good on the screen. Check it out at z1offroad.com.